In this video, we're going to be covering another Amazon interview question. This question is lead code uh, question number three. A longest substring without repeating characters. So what they're saying is like, if you have this string A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B. Longest uh, character string could be A, Longest substring without repeating characters uh, could be A, B, C because we do not have any repetition of characters A or B or C in this substring. It could be A, B, C like this one, right? But other than that, if we have C, B, that would not be the longest one as the number of characters are going to be 2. Or if we have BCA could be an other option here. BCA or CAB could be one of the options too. Over here it's just going to be one. Let's just stick to, uh, to this example. So in this video we're going to be covering the pseudo code. The code is in front of you but basically I'm going to be going through the pseudo code so the string is equal to a b c a a b c a b c b b the algorithm i'm suggesting is that <clears throat> we need to have a left pointer and a right pointer both pointing at uh, zeros, right? Then we also need to have basically the algorithm is that we're gonna have a sliding window. Our right would love to move to the right if it can. What it means is like initially both are at index zero, right? And I I have a hash map, right? A hash map. Uh, which is basically uh, empty right and then because it's empty and it hasn't seen zero and this hash map is basically for the occurrences so it hasn't seen a before so I would say okay that's nice you can actually uh, if you haven't seen a before uh, keep the left pointer where it is right and uh, and also update the the map right so the occurrence of a is at index 0 right okay then we're gonna be moving our right again every single time we're gonna be updating the result so the result now is when I uh, uh, the result now is uh, is always gonna be uh, it's the max between the result itself or uh, the right minus left plus 1 so over here it's 0 minus 0 plus 1 so the result is gonna become equal to 1 then our R is gonna be here we're gonna ask him have you ever seen that before so the map is gonna say no so we're going to be saying B is uh, the latest occurrence of the B was at index 1, right? And then uh, if that is the case and if we haven't seen any it, uh, all we have to do is to update that and uh, we're going to say that right is at 1, left is at 0, 1 minus 0 plus 1 uh, is going to be so, so far we have a string which is a unique string or a string with non-repeating characters of length 2. Then we're going to move R again. See, we haven't seen it before. This is going to become equal to 3. All is good. Then our R is going to be here. We're going to say that have you seen A before? Yes, we have. Right. Whenever we are going to say that, okay, we have seen it, we actually also have to update the left one. 
So, so what we're going to say is that the left is actually the max between the, the left or uh, whatever, wherever you have seen plus 1. So if you have seen A before, we saw A at 0, right? So it was at uh, like the, the, the map, right, uh, of that last occurrence of character, right, uh, plus 1. So have you seen it before? So if we were at 0. Yes, we have seen it. So we saw it at 0. This A, we have seen it before and, it, and the last time we saw it at uh, at 0 index. So we, got, we are suggesting take that 0 plus 1 and put uh, the L at 1. So that's how the sliding window is going to keep moving. Again, we're going to come here. Uh, we're going to update our uh, is occurrence which is at 0 1 and then 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so the last occurrence of a is now updated to 3 and then the result is still gonna be calculated we're gonna say keep it 3 the reason is it was 3 last time but now it is 3 minus uh, 3 minus 1 which is 2 plus 1 which is again 3 so it's gonna stay 3 now we're gonna be moving B uh, here have you have we seen it before yes we have we need to update the L to um, last occurrence of B which is 1 plus 1 uh, now it's gonna become 2 uh, we need to update the this uh, we uh, we need to update the R, uh, the result, so again, 4 minus 2 plus 1 is again 3. So we're going to choose between 3 and 3, which is going to stay 3. Then we're going to move here. Have we seen it before? Yes, we have. So we're going to be updating that. Uh, first of all, we're going to be updating here. Where have we seen uh, C? So we saw C at 2. So the L is going to be moved here, right? And and what now? Uh, it's going to be moved here, up, going to be updating the result, still going to stay 3, and it's just going to move here. So this is a little bit interesting here. Uh, we are here. First of all, have we seen it before? Yes, we saw it at location actually when we were here we did not update that so 0 1 2 3 4 so this should be 4 so have we seen it before yes we have right and then where did we see it we saw it at 4 so it is gonna be updated to actually uh, the occurrence of that 4 plus 1 0 1 2 3 4 and over here so this is gonna come all the way to this point we're gonna the result is still gonna be less this index minus this plus one is gonna be two I think uh, so we're gonna keep it three because we are choosing between the R max and the current one and then uh, uh, this is gonna be updated to two three four five Right, and then the last one is over. Uh, so over here, we're gonna have it to B. Uh, have we seen it before? Uh, yes, we have. Right. Uh, again, the C is gonna. Again, when we were here, we did not. We forgot to update that. That needs to be updated. Oops, five. And have we seen it before? Yes, we have. And in this case, the L is just gonna move to seven because we have seen it at five, right? One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six. We have seen it at six, right? And then this is gonna move to the seven, and they're gonna be here. And once we come out of that, and we're gonna be updating the result, the result is still gonna stay three because that's the max we have seen so far. So that's how we would do it. Uh, we just need a hash map. The result is gonna be, first of all we are checking uh, the sanity check here if the if there is nothing in the string we're just gonna be returning zero if we uh, then we're gonna be setting up the map uh, initially the map is empty we are uh, starting from left equals to zero and the right equals to zero and going all the way uh, to traverse the string every single time we are looking at the character do we all have we already seen that character before uh, if we do not have that character inside our uh, occurrence hash map uh, all we have to do is to put it in, in there and update the result but if we have seen it before we also need to update the left it may stay equals to left because that's what we are doing we are keeping uh, choosing max uh, between max we're choosing between the maximum value of the left and the, the the last occurrence of the character and in the end we're gonna be returning the result uh, that's all I wanted to cover in terms of the complexities here uh, we are using extra space we are actually uh, so the space is going to be linear uh, because we are making the hash map and updating it so at a worst case and in worst case scenario uh, we may end up using uh, uh, like if n is the length of the string we may end up using n uh, space in terms of the time complexity uh, we are just traversing our window is going to be traversing only once uh, so it's going to be linear. So both of them, the time complexity and the space complexity is linear. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.